Hello and welcome to this episode of T-Tech. On today's episode, we're going to be making install media for OpenBSD. So the first thing here is I have a USB stick. We'll go ahead and plug that into a USB port on our computer. And this is here where it mounted it. What we're going to do is go down to Menu here, type Terminal, and hit the Terminal icon. And we'll maximize this real quick. There we go. Now we're gonna we have to unmount the USB's file system first. Because when we copy the OpenBSD image on there, if it's mounted, there's a higher chance that it will get corrupted. So we're gonna do sudo to get root privileges. We're gonna say u mount space slash media slash and then this next portion will be your username and it, it all depends what your username is on my computer it's tman and we do another slash and you can hit tab twice to see the files that are in the, the directories but that is what shows up here and that's our usb's file system the mount point and we're going to hit enter now and type our user password so we get root and now the usb is unmounted so now we're ready to copy to it. So what we're going to do is do sudo fdisk hyphen l. Now this command lists all the disks that, that uh, Linux has detected. There we go. So the disk we're interested in is this one here. The slash dev slash sdb. That is our USB stick. So I've saved, I went out to openbsd.org, and I saved the .fs file in my downloads directory. So we're going to use the command cd for change directory, and we're going to say downloads. Again, um, if you tab, it will automatically complete, and we'll hit enter. Now if we ls, our install 62.fs file is here. Now we're going to run the command to actually copy it. So that is sudo, sudo, dd, input file, so if in this case, equals install 62.fs. Now, dd takes information in on one side and will write it to whatever output we specify. So this can either be a hard drive, a USB um, disk, another file, uh, whatever it may be. So the info file we want to copy is the OpenBSD image. So we're going to output that file to the slash dev slash sdb disk. So again, right up here. You want to write it to the entire disk, not the partition on the disk. So we're going to do slash dev slash sdb. And after this, we'll quick break down the command before we run it, though. So sudo gives us root again. dd is the command itself. The if equals is the input file. This is what we want dd to use as its source. Of is output file. This is our USB um, drive in this case. So this is where we want dd to copy this information. So this is the source with the if. This is the destination with the output file. Don't um, be careful not to accidentally mix them up, because if, if, for instance, I accidentally put dev sda here on output, I would wipe out my entire hard drive. This video would be gone. But don't accidentally do that, though. Be very careful. So what we're going to do now is hit enter, and then that will start to copy the OpenBSD image to the USB stick. All right, I'm going to pause the video here, and I'll see you when it finishes. All right, it just finished copying. So these, this is what a successful uh, DD copy looks like. This is the amount of information it copied here. This is the amount of time it took and the speed. So if there was an error, you would usually see input-output error from, the, from DD. If that happens, either check your image and um, re-download it, check your USB stick or check your USB port by trying another USB stick in it. Those could be all um, 
ways that you could get an input-output error. But um, from there, a few more tips. Um, make sure the computer you're installing this onto, make sure you don't care about the information on it. If, if you do, make sure you back it up. But um, what I would recommend is picking up a spare PC off eBay, and then you can use that to mess around with and not have to worry about, you know, destroying some data. So, with all of that, I'm Tyler with T-Tech, and I really hope you enjoyed this video, and have a nice day.